today I'm going to show you exactly how you can import a texture pack for Minecraft Java Edition. Um, and since you probably don't want to hear me talk for 10 minutes, we're going to make this pretty short as it is also pretty simple. I'm going to show you two different methods, a more easy and straightforward one, or a slightly more difficult one that might still be useful. Anyways, for the first one, you um, just want to have a texture pack. Um, this is the texture pack that I'll be using. It's one I made myself. If you want to check out the texture packs that I make, they'll be linked in the description box below. Anyways, you just want to have your texture pack in an accessible place, like on your desktop. Um, and then you just want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Um, wait for it to load and then just launch Minecraft for whatever game version your texture is. For my case that is 1.19.2. So over here I have launched Minecraft and the easiest thing to do is just to keep it in tabbed mode like so. I'm just gonna drag this to a corner of my screen. Then to import the pack you want to click on options and then select resource packs over here. Here will be all the packs that are available, and here are the ones that you have selected. Now, currently I have no packs available and also none selected. To import a pack, you need to select Open Pack Folder. Then a folder will open up, um, this folder over here, and in here you want to place your texture pack. And I can just right click on this, copy it, and then paste it inside of the folder. And as you can see, it'll appear right over here. Now, something that you need to watch out for is if you have multiple packs in the folder like this, and let's say that you have your pack here. If you drag it and then drag it over here, as you can see, it'll say copy. And that is because if you drag it like this, you're not actually putting it inside the folder, but you're putting it inside an already existing texture pack. So the easiest thing to do is to copy it and paste it in. That way, it can't go wrong. Anyways, once it's in the folder, it's just right over here in Minecraft. And then you can select this arrow over here to push it to the side and then the pack will be selected. Now you want to make sure that um, that your pack is at the top. If, it is n if it's not at the top then it might not work. Anyways and now you can just click on done and there you go it should be imported as you can see my custom 1.19 GUI is now enabled. Again links to this are inside the description. Anyways, for this second method, we don't actually have to enter Minecraft. Here's my pack that I want to import, and what you want to do is you want to hold Windows and R at the same time, and then you want to type in um, percent app data and then percent. Then you can hit on enter or click on OK over here. Then um, you should end up in this folder or in this folder over here. Either way you want to make sure that you're in roaming right over here and then you want to locate the dot minecraft folder which should be one of the top folders. Anyways you want to go into there and in here there should be a folder called resource packs as you can see. And then inside this folder are all the packs you already have and you can drag any pack you want into here. Now, um, let's say I drag a pack into there. Of course, this pack is already in there. Um, let's say I drag a pack into here. I can now just close this folder and whenever I launch Minecraft, it should be under texture packs. Now, let's say it is still not working and you've tried everything and your texture pack just isn't importing. Well, if you're the one who made the texture pack, then I'll put a link to a video down below on how to troubleshoot your texture packs and how to make them work for Minecraft if they're not importing. Otherwise, um, if you just downloaded the texture pack from someone else, then it'd be a great idea to let the person who made the pack know that their pack is not working. 
and in theory there's nothing that you can do about that that is a mistake that the person who made the texture pack made and it happens all the time so don't go over there harassing them anyways um, thank you ever so much for watching. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments section below. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.